course, psycholinguistics. If we can divide the word psycholinguistics into two parts, we'll find that uh, the first part is psycho, which means the mind, the human mind, and linguistics, the study of language. So what do these two have in common? The human mind and language. So, as most of you know, language is processed in the human mind. So while I'm speaking now, I'm processing, I'm encoding. While I'm speaking now, I'm creating language, I'm creating sentences, I'm trying to, to, uh, to, to bring words together. So this is done by the human mind. So let's, let's move to the first slide we have here, which is the textbook we are going to use. I'll try my best uh, to, uh, to summarize the lectures uh, so that you don't need to read the book. Uh, but in case you needed to, to discover more about the topic, to learn more about the topic, uh, it would be good to refer back to the book and read more about the, the, uh, the, the lecture, the, the, the title covered in the lecture. Uh, the title, uh, as you can see, is uh, Fundamentals of Psycholinguistics. The author is uh, Eva uh, Fernandez and uh, Smith Cairns. Uh, as, and here we have uh, an image of the first page of the book. So this is our textbook. But as I said earlier, uh, most of the uh, material will be in the slides. So now let's move to, the, uh, to today's lecture, uh, which is the introductory lecture. The content, first, we're going to define psycholinguistics, what does it mean? Then uh, we're going to discuss some disciplines covered or related to psycholinguistics. Then finally we will uh, have some uh, exemplary questions in the field of psycholinguistics. So let's move to the first point which is the definition of psycholinguistics. As you can see in the definition, which we will uh, explain in detail. Psycholinguistics is an interdisciplinary field of study in which uh, the goals are to understand how people acquire language, how people use language to speak and understand one another, and how language is represented and processed in the brain. Let's take this part by part. Psycholinguistics is an interdisciplinary field of study, which means Psycholinguistics has to do with a lot of disciplines within linguistics and of course within uh, medicine and within uh, language pathology that is uh, uh, curing uh, some of the uh, uh, limitations which some people have like stuttering etc. So psycholinguistics is an interdisciplinary field that has to do with many fields uh, both inside linguistics and outside linguistics. Uh, in which the goals are to understand how people acquire language. So this is our first goal in psycholinguistics, how people acquire language. Then how people use language to speak and understand one another. Now most of you speak, speak English, speak Arabic, but now the question is how? How do you speak English? Where is English stored in your mind? If, if, we, can, if, if we look at it this way. Is, is English stored somewhere in your mind? Is Arabic stored in the same place or in a different place? Most of you speak two languages or perhaps more than two languages. Where exactly is Arabic uh, stored? Where, where exactly is English stored? Are they stored in the same place or in different places? So this is our main concern in psycholinguistics. How people use language to speak and understand one another. And we are going to see the next few slides a possible explanation of how language is, uh, is represented in the mind so and how language is represented and processed in the brain, in the brain. hopefully uh, the, uh, the definition is, uh, is clear if you need uh, further help you can uh, contact me later if you want more explanation of this uh, explanation of, the, of this definition of the field of the, uh, of the word psycholinguistics now let's move to the second slide some disciplines related to psycholinguistics. 
psycholinguistics uh, can be uh, looked at uh, as a field which is in the center and uh, many field, many other fields are related to psycholinguistics so we can uh, we can uh, study phonetics from 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 a psycholinguistic perspective of course we can study discourse analysis um, the, the analysis of conversations and uh, we can study as I said earlier language pathology that is speech therapy and uh, neuroscience uh, as well, most of you know there are diseases which can affect the, um, the production of, uh, of language like Alzheimer's disease like uh, Parkinson's disease both of these uh, two uh, two diseases can affect the way you speak and the way you understand language and finally uh, psycholinguistics can be approached uh, via language learning so these are some uh, disciplines related to psycholinguistics of course we are going to discuss this in detail uh, throughout the semester today's lecture is just an introduction in order for you to see how psycholinguistics is studied in the next slide we have some ex uh, exemplary questions in psycholinguistics some example questions so uh, let's suppose that someone is interested in psycholinguistics he wants to see or he wants to research uh, in psycholinguistics these are some examples or some questions to be asked in the field of psycholinguistics the first is or the first question is how are words and word meanings represented in someone's mind so this is uh, one of the uh, ex one of the questions to be asked in, in psycholinguistics another question uh, is uh, how are sentences composed in someone's mind at the time of speech so while I'm speaking now how do I combine words together this is of course a process inside the mind but in psycholinguistics we are trying to figure out ways or, or try to, to, uh, to look for answers for the, uh, for the process of language uh, both uh, encoding which is speaking and writing and decoding listening and speaking while you, now while you are listening to me now you are trying to decode the, the language the, finally, uh, one of the questions which are possibly asked in uh, psycholinguistics is how are words and sentences and their meanings analyzed at the time of listening or reading? So these are exciting questions. Perhaps some of you have uh, thought about them earlier before even studying uh, psycholinguistics. How language is stored in my mind? How do I create sentences? Now I know words, the, meaning, the meanings of words separately. How do I link them together? How do I make phrases and sentences? Let's move to the next slide, which is an example or an illustration, a possible illustration of how language is both uh, encoded and decoded. So here in the picture we have two people. Let's suppose that the one with the dark skin on the, on the right is blind. He can't see the tree, and the one on the left can see the tree. He wants to describe what he can see to the blind person on the right, the one with the dark skin. So he sees the image of the tree. There is a representation for the tree inside his mind. And there is a link between this particular, uh, this particular object in the, in the nature, which we can see, and we call it tree. So uh, inside the human mind, there is a relation between the object, the physical object, and the word. So the word is tree, and the physical object is the tree itself. So the, the one on the left, on the uh, on the right, sees the tree. Now he sees the tree. There is a word for this object, the tree. It is the word tree. So he utters the word tree while he utters the word tree the one on the left or the one on the right with the dark skin who can't see the tree hears, hears the word tree and there is a representation inside his mind of the, uh, of the word tree which is the physical tree I hope this is clear I cannot uh, listen uh, 
to your questions and uh, because uh, this is a recorded lecture but I hope that this is clear if, if you need uh, I, will al I will always say this if you need further help please ask me during uh, or please ask me on the uh, uh, on the website okay now let's move to the uh, the final slide which is uh, the picture reference where I took uh, this picture from so uh, if you needed uh, to contact me I think uh, you will have my email I will uh, send it together with the uh, with these slides so uh, hopefully when you have questions don't hesitate to ask me and thank you very much for uh, for listening and I hope I hope you enjoy this course thanks very much